Good evening, all. I am Hunter Enders, and I am blessed to be the valedictorian of Gaza City High School's Class of 2022. I'd like to begin by addressing the parents, siblings, loved ones, and friends who have gathered to witness this historic moment in the lives of so many young men and women. Tonight is a recognition of what over 300 students have accomplished, but it's also a recognition of your involvement. I believe some measures of thanks are in order. Thank you, moms and dads, for your sacrifices. Thank you for taking us to practices, games, competitions, and activities of all kinds. Thank you for spending free nights and weekends cheering us on and making sure that we can do the things we enjoy, as well as the things we need to do. Thank you for putting us in positions to succeed and make it to this moment. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and wisdom. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you, friends and family, for your sacrifices. Thank you for picking us up when we are down and for standing beside us in both triumphs and hardships. Thank you for your loyalty and unwavering support. Thank you for always having our backs. Thank you, teachers, coaches, mentors, and trusted adults for your sacrifices. Thank you for dedicating your time and effort to the betterment of young people. Thank you, thank you for your enduring patience and selfless nature. Thank you for the countless lessons you bestowed upon us. And I'd like to give a special shout out to the man sitting over there in front of the flag, Colonel Davenport for all you've taught me and uh, my fellow classmates. Uh, I really appreciate you. And underclassmen, if you ever need anything, my fellow graduates, you know who to talk to. Now, my fellow graduates, I ask that you consider the following as you prepare for your future. When people doubt you, don't let others' opinions get to you. Use your doubts as motivation to improve yourself, not for the sake of proving them wrong, but for the sake of becoming a better person. When you encounter adversity, don't give up. Find the strength to keep going and utilize it. There are no guarantees of ease and prosperity in life. Challenges will come, but when they do, use them as opportunities to learn and grow. Set goals and give it your all to accomplish them. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you fail to reach your goal, learn from the experience and use it to motivate you to hit your next target. When you're faced with a dilemma, do the right thing. Don't take the easy or popular ways. Instead, stand up for what is right, even if doing so is uncool. Define success your own way. If you want to sell stocks in Wall Street, give it a shot. If you want to start a paper company in northeastern Pennsylvania, hey, go for it. In all things, do what is right, what makes you happy, and what makes you a better person. Success does not have to mean wealth, prosperity, or fame. God has given you unique gifts and talents that you can utilize to carve your own path to success. Finally, love like Jesus. When things don't go your way, love like Jesus. When your plans fall apart, love like Jesus. When people don't like you, love like Jesus. No matter how things go, in all things, love like Jesus. A life of service, one of making sacrifices and doing things to help others, as our parents, friends, and teachers have done, is a life well spent. In closing, I'd like to read 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. I implore you, have faith that God will guide you, have hope that all will be well, and love God, others, and yourself. With genuine faith, hope, and love, the possibilities are limitless. Congratulations, class of 2022, and God bless you all.